So for those waiting for new Macs, there is some bad news because German now tells us that no, we're not going to see any new Macs for the rest of 2022. So of course, now the earliest we should see new Macs is in spring of 2023, which is a long wait. And yeah, let's delve into this bad news. So it's actually a Korean source who was the first to spill the beans regarding this. They said the 14 inch and the 16 inch MacBook Pro would be delayed and would be pushed back till spring 2023, which of course went against German's initial reports regarding a November release for these Macs. Now this actually did make sense because Tim Cook himself did tell us during the earnings call that Apple was pretty much set in terms of their product lineups ahead of the holidays, so that does suggest Apple doesn't plan to release any products. Also, CFO Luca Maestri said, Mac revenue in Q4 is going to decline substantially, which of course would not be the case if we did see new Macs. Because while these are chip refreshes, there is still going to be hype for this product, and it would ultimately give Apple a spike in sales. And yeah, German shortly after clarified that yes, he was wrong in his initial reports, we're not getting any new Macs in 2022. Now this does suck because... While the new Macs were going to be chip refreshes, it's always exciting to have new products. And obviously, I'll be honest with you guys, as an Apple YouTuber, I do depend on Apple releasing new products and keeping us busy throughout the year. So yeah, I'm disappointed by this news. However, this is not all bad news because if Apple does have a spring release for these Macs, there is a chance the M2 Pro and the M2 Max might actually be based on a 3 nanometer process. Since there has been a constant debate whether these new chips are going to be based on a 5 nanometer process like the regular M2 chip, or a 3 nanometer process instead. And while initially, since we thought there was going to be a November release, and 3 nanometer chips wouldn't be ready till Q1, that did make us think M2 Pro and M2 Max would be based on the same 5 nanometer process. And so now German telling us that a 2023 release is going to happen with these Macs, we could actually get 3 nanometers and much bigger upgrades. And yeah, a recent report has told us Apple's given TSMC a large order to produce M2 Pro and M2 Max on the 3 nanometer process. And so yeah, the delayed release could result in much bigger upgrades with these new Macs. So yeah, I guess there is a pro to Apple delaying the release and waiting for 3 nanometer chips, since ultimately these won't be getting design changes, and so these chip upgrades have to be major enough for most to justify getting this over the M1 models, which will get discounts. Now, German also believes the Mac Pro should release alongside the MacBook Pro and Mac Mini in the first half of March, with the release of Ventura 13.3. And so yes, Apple is going to miss the two-year time frame they promised, but I think the upgrades are going to be worth it, especially if these chips are based on a 3 nanometer process. Anyways, let's delve into your comments regarding future Macs. So Tom and Tech hopes M2 Pro, Max and Ultra are 3 nanometers since M2 was a lackluster refresh and they want bigger upgrades. And yes, I'm also hoping for the same because for the most part, the M2 Pro slash Max Max that's a mouthful, but anyways, these Macs are going to be pretty boring because the Mac Mini and the MacBook Pro are not getting new designs, and so the chip upgrades have to be the main USB. So of course, to make up for the lack of upgrades, I'm hoping Apple does give us chips based on the 3 nanometer process. So Post Digital Audio says, I want an M2 Tornado chip, and yeah, I know they're joking, but I do honestly think there is a small chance Apple does go with that, especially with how ridiculous Apple's naming scheme is becoming with their chips. So Alien AI 2.0 says, not excited for the upcoming price hikes for these MacBook Pros. Now, if you're referring to the US, I don't think there's going to be price hikes there because we were predicting the 14 series would get price hikes, but that was not the case. And so yes, I doubt such minor refreshes to the MacBook Pros are going to warrant a price hike. However, if you're referring to the rest of the world, then yes, we could see price hikes. We saw major price hikes with the 14 series, and so I'm pretty anxious about the pricing for these Macs, and if it's really outrageous, I think you're better off getting the 2021 models. So JD's wondering about the fan noise with the M2 and M2 Pro Mac Mini, and I do believe that for most use cases, there might be slightly more fan noise because the M2 does seem to be running hotter than the M1 chip due to the high TDP, so I do think it's fair to say we can expect the same with the M2 Pro chip. 
But do remember, this is still going to be a lot quieter than the Intel machines. And also, of course, for those getting the M2 models, I'm sure that for light use, there will still basically be no fan noise. It's just that for more intensive work, where the increased GPU cores could come into play, that could increase the fan noise. So AppleSheep125 says, they do not believe the jack is going with the Mac Mini and I agree with this completely because the Mac Mini has terrible speakers, it needs to be connected to peripherals, and so having a headphone jack is going to be pretty important and I tell that Apple is going to force us to use Bluetooth with the Mac Mini. Like if Apple was to remove the headphone jack with the Mac, I think that would be the MacBook Air because for the target audience, most of them are regular consumers using AirPods, and so they could care less about the headphone jack. But yes, the M2 Mac Mini should keep the jack. So Chipotle Man says, Damn, I was hoping for a redesign. I guess I'll keep my M1 Mac Mini and see what happens. Just upgraded to the 1TB, 16GB unified memory version 2 and it's been excellent. Loads of good deals on them on Amazon right now. I even saw the 2TB version for $1700. And yes, Mac Mini deals from third parties have been excellent. And yeah, to be honest, much like the M2 MacBook Air, I do think the M1 model is going to cannibalize sales of the M2 version because there are just so many good deals out there from third parties that are way below retail price. Since, like I discussed in my MacBook Air videos, the M2 version being $11.99 retail and of course the M1 being way below that at around $849 through retailers, that does make the M2 version hard to justify, especially since the actual upgrades with the M2 chip really are not that major. So yeah, I do think that's going to be the case with this Mac Mini because while I'm sure there will not be any price hikes with the M2 version, I'm also sure there's going to be major discounts on the M1 version, deals that are even better than they are right now. So of course, that's going to be pretty compelling for most consumers. Anyways, that's about it guys, but tell me your thoughts regarding these reports in the comments. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the card above on details regarding the iPad 10 and on that note, see ya peeps.